This tutorial is going to cover brawls and bullseyes. Unfortunately, not the ones in this picture though. So, let's talk about brawl. What is a brawl? A brawl is an acronym which stands for bearing, range, altitude, and aspect. A brawl call is given to you by AWACS or GCI or whatever, uh, usually whenever the target is near you. And in BMS by default, a brawl call will be given to you when the enemy is within 25 miles. Okay, so let's break down a brawl call visually. In this diagram, we are the F-16 in the center of the screen, and we're facing southeast. The red triangles are targets, and I'm going to show a few scenarios in which AWACS gives us a brawl call and what it means. Let's start with the first call from AWACS. Falcon 1, bra, 090, 50 miles, 20,000 feet, hot. This call is in reference to the target to our east. He is at a heading of 090 from our plane. He is 50 miles away, and he's at an altitude of 20,000 feet. Hot is his aspect, which means he is facing at us. Newbie 5, bra, 180, 40 miles, 10,000 feet, flanking. This call is in reference to the target to our south. He is at a heading of 180 from our plane. He is at 40 miles at an altitude of 10,000 feet. His aspect is flanking, which means he is pointing in our general direction, but if nothing changes, he's going to be flying to the side of us. Stinky 4, Brawl, 270 for 30, Angels 22, Cold. This call tells us the target is at a heading of 270 from our position, is 30 miles away, and at 22,000 feet. His aspect is cold, meaning he is flying away from us. Okay, now that we're in BMS, let's go ahead and see what a brawl call looks like from AWACS. Magic 1, Bulldog 5-1, request picture. Bulldog 5-1, Magic 1, picture is one group, Bra 3-4-0-2-6-24,000, cold, hostile. Okay, so right there, AWACS told us we have a target heading 3-4-0 from us. He is at a range of 26 miles, and he is at 24,000 feet. So let's unpause the game. We'll turn our heading to 3-4-0, and we're going to start scanning around 26 miles on our FCR. So we roll it to about 340. We put our FCR to about 26 miles at 24,000 feet. Sure enough, there's a contact right there. And that's how you use a bra call in game. Okay, so let's talk about bullseyes now. On the screen is the definition of a bullseye. You can pause it if you want and read that so you won't hear me talk at the same time. But in my own words, a bullseye is a specific point on the map that is the same for everyone on your team. It's a fixed point and all calls originate from the bullseye center. Okay, in this slide, you can see the bullseye on a map of Korea. At the very center of all those green lines is the bullseye center. And the first circle or ring from the center is a 30 mile range indication. Uh, the second ring is 60 miles from the center of bullseye and so on the top of the map is north and then of course you can guess where east south and west is from there now in this slide we have a example of a bullseye call being made um, in this picture at the bottom center we are the green jet and the target is a red jet on the left side of the map AWACS announces the target using a bullseye call this time Falcon 1, enemy, bullseye, 270, 120, 20,000, tracking east. This means starting from the bullseye center, the target is heading 270, and he's at 120 miles. He is at 20,000 feet, and the target's heading is going to the east, or 090. Now, in this slide... The target is in the same exact position, but our jet, the green jet, is up north now. Now, for this AWACS call, nothing changes for a bullseye call, because the enemy jet is in the exact same position from the bullseye center. 
So no matter where we are on the map, it doesn't matter. The bullseye call is always going to be the same for the target because it's always based off the bullseye center, if that makes any sense. Now, in this slide, we have two green jets. If either green jet calls in for a bullseye request from AWACS, they are going to get the exact same bullseye call. Because once again, the bullseye call is based off the enemy's position from the center of the bullseye. It doesn't matter where our flight or the friendly flight is. It doesn't matter. The enemy's bullseye call is based off the very center of the bullseye. So it's still bullseye 270 for 120, 20,000 feet tracking east. Okay, now in this final diagram, I want to show you first using the same exact scenario, what a bullseye call looks like versus a brawl call looks like. So in this scenario, the aircraft are in the exact same position for each call. In the first call, AWEX announces Falcon 1 enemy bullseye 270-120, 20,000 tracking east. Now that call originates from the bullseye center. Now, if we were to request a bra call, the AWACS would say Falcon 1, enemy brawl, 330145, 20,000 flanking. In other words, while the bullseye call is coming from the center towards the target, the bra call is coming from the center of our aircraft, our position, to the target. So if it's a bra call, it's going to be from our aircraft's heading towards the enemy, which it's a 330 towards the enemy and also the distance from our aircraft to the enemy, which is 145 miles. So keep that in mind. You know, the bullseye call comes from the center, and the brawl call comes from your aircraft to the target, if that makes any sense. Okay, now let's talk about being in the aircraft and getting your own bullseye. So if you want to know your own bullseye in the plane, all you got to do is come over here to your, uh, your HUD, look in the bottom left, and our current bullseye is 070483. If you come down here to your MFDs also, in the bottom left of each one, you can see right there, once again, there's our own bullseye. Now, if you come over here to the left-hand MFD, you can see above our own bullseye is another blue uh, bunch of numbers. That's wherever our current cursor's looking, that's the bullseye for that. So if we move our cursor around, you can see our bullseye for our target cursor changes. Now, if we lock up a contact like we are right here, that is the target's bullseye now. So target bullseye 059110 finally if we come over here to the HSD and make that soy once again you can move around the cursor and in the bottom right here that is the bullseye for whatever our cursor is looking at on the HSD now another thing some people might do is they will have a picture of the bullseye and what they do is whenever they're flying or all around they'll mark their bullseye location and when they get the bullseye of an enemy, they'll mark that on the map as well. And now they have a general idea of where the enemy is in relation to them. You know, you can do this on paint or you can print off a bullseye, you know, chart and just write it in with pen. That's another method for tracking bullseye. Okay, if all this stuff I've been talking about makes any sense, let's go over how I visualize bullseye calls when I'm flying in my plane. So... What I do is I look at my HUD, and if I'm in air-to-air -air mode, I'll have that, you know, the circle that comes around your HUD. And I split that circle into four pieces like a pizza. All right, the top is north, and you got east, south, and west, as I have written down in this picture. And the first thing I do is I plot where I'm at. So if we look over here on my HUD, you can see I'm 090, so I'm to the east on this little diagram I drew. And I'm also 124 miles out. So I just put myself out there, you know, some distance I feel. I like doing my heading is 058 and so on this little imaginary you know picture I put my heading to 058 now my enemy bullseye is 355 so he's towards the top of this little you know diagram of mine and he's also 124 miles so he's pretty far out as well so I'll put him about equal distance on here he's tracking west so in my mind I'm visualizing him flying away in that direction so now if we look at this diagram we can see roughly I can realize the enemy is now to my left side more back left and he's flying away from me and he's pretty far you know this is how i visualize a bullseye call from the airplane okay so another way to track a bullseye call is have your hsd zoomed out pretty far and have it as soy move your cursor around and then request a bra call 
Magic. One. Bulldog. Five. One. Request picture. Bulldog. Five. One. Magic. One. Picture is one group. Bullseye. Zero. Six. Zero. One. Two. Two. Twenty-four thousand. Track. Northeast. Outlaw. So now we can move our cursor around to zero six zero one two two. And as we see down here, it's pretty close, and that gives us an idea where the enemy is. He's to our front left. That's another way to track bullseye calls.